Oh, earliest memory of Sam. Uh, she was, um, she was a good looking girl. She had lovely, lovely blue eyes, long dark hair, amazing smile. Sounds really cliched, that, doesn't it? Do you know what I mean? Rubbish that you're always there, isn't it? She was, you know, the first girl that I've ever, ever loved. She was a really bubbly, lovely girl. Don't get me wrong, she had a different side to her when I upset her. That never usually lasted long. I remember the first time she told me that she loved me. We were walking back from my mum and dad's house, back to hers. We were just walking down the road. She, she felt silly. I knew what she was going to say, but I wanted to hear her say it first. <laughs> yeah, I suppose, she, uh, yeah, I remember that, as clear as day. I bought Sam a, a rose that night. Made out I didn't have any change. And then when she was at the bar, I popped up behind her and gave it to her. For whatever reason that night, we decided that we were gonna walk back over from the petrol station and went down a little cutway, walked along the river for a bit. I suppose we didn't know exactly where we were going, we were just going. We all knew that we shouldn't have done it. I suppose the lads were more confident than the girls, but the lads were always a bit naughtier than the girls, you know. We ended up walking uh, alongside the, the railway line for a little while. What well, a funny feeling it was to avoid some horses. I just remember looking round and seeing Sam trip. Just ran over. Grabbed Sammy by her belt and I picked her up. She was gasping for breath. I laid her down by the side and that was when everyone just left and decided that they were gonna try to find help. All I can remember is looking in her eyes when she was gasping. Jake, who was by my side, he stayed by my side the whole time. Louise stayed on the phone to to 999. I was giving Sam CPR for so long, I, I, I just got so tired, I was exhausted. Every time between breaths, I was screaming for help. I just remember Jake putting his arm around me and uh, you know, I suppose they, they picked Sam up and put her onto a stretcher and carried her away.